husband just went in to GameStop because he wants to look for a new game. As most of you know who've been following my channel, um, I'm not really that big into gaming. It's not really my thing, but you know, I support whatever he wants to do. It's, you know, whatever makes him happy. I forgot to show you a little outfit of the day. It's nothing special. Just excuse this kind of hot mess I have going on. Um, I love how I say that I'm not gonna wear my hair up as much anymore and then I'm wearing my hair up. Uh, but I'm wearing my kind of gray, heathered, really comfy sweater from H&M. I've had this for forever. And then some pants from H&M. The cute tall gray boots. And that's pretty much the outfit for me today. Just comfy kind of cold it's 21 degrees um but i don't really have a jacket like big enough to go over this sweater because it's kind of bulky as it is but yeah i'm in the car just waiting for him and trying to get used to pulling out my camera a little bit more when we're out just because i'm always so self-conscious of like other people in cars next to us like staring at me wondering like why is she talking to a camera right now um i'm trying to break that barrier hey guys so time has passed it is almost four o'clock we're just back home now and i'm sitting on another couch that we have in our living room so again switching it up a little bit with the setup i have a bunch of things from tj maxx that i got it's going to be another kind of home goods clothing and hair care which i'm excited also my husband is in the kitchen he is finally trying to make his beer from his beer kit that he bought himself um and so if you hear any rustling or anything uh that's what that is but starting off with my haul i got another candle surprise surprise um it's again by dw home and it's their apple honey butter scent this is their wooden wick candle and it smells so good. It kind of smells like winter, warmth, cinnamon, you know, just very comforting. Um, it has a 40 hour burn time and this one is actually 11 ounces. So it's 
a little bit bigger than my lava one from DW Home from my previous haul. Uh, that one we're actually almost out of, so I'm really happy. My husband actually picked this out, and it was only $7.99 again. And the wood wick candles are really, can be really expensive, so I'm really happy we found this one for such a good price. So the next item is a planner. It's a daily planner that's undated and it says keep it simple. It's by the company Fringe Studio and I paid $4.99 for this. I think it's six by eight. I'm trying to see if it says it anywhere. It doesn't say it anywhere, but I'm assuming it's six by eight. It's not too large. I tend to go for the bigger planners just so I have more space to write, but for this price and this cute design, I just couldn't go wrong. Um, definitely will be put to use with planning out my videos coming up and maybe for other things too. So that is what I got from that section. Now we're moving on to clothes. You guys know, I've mentioned this before, from decluttering my closet this past, yeah, it was last year I did that video. I need staple pieces and things that I can pretty much carry throughout the year. And I I think I lucked out, I'd like to say. So the first item that I got is this ribbed kind of jersey material baby tee. It's short sleeve, a little cropped. And I tend to get my tops on the larger side. One, just in case they shrink. And I also kind of like them a little bit more baggy. I'm not too confident with like the tighter tops and stuff. Um, maybe I will be coming soon, but I paid $5.99 for this and I'm planning on wearing it with cardigans and even just like flannels and stuff would be really cute um, as a layering piece and also just as a standard basic to have. The next top that I got is really really soft it was on clearance i got it for eight bucks and it's this light heathered gray super soft long sleeve and it has this really simple and cute knot detail on the bottom and i got this in a large and it's from the brand anti star i've never heard of them before but i have had a long sleeve shirt from forever 21 like years and years ago and i swear it's the same material because it was super soft and i'm really excited to pair this with jeans leggings really anything just another great basic to have the next item that i got was jeans another pair of jeans that i can add to my wardrobe these are um a curvy skinny fit which not too sure what that is so we'll find out if i try once i try them on um they have a tummy tech design which i'm assuming it doesn't make you look too curvy i'm not too sure um but they're double buttoned high-waisted skinny black jeans from the brand angels and these were $16.99, so not too bad. Um, functioning pockets in the front and the back, which is a plus. And the material is more of like a stretchy material. It's not like a tough denim. So I'm interested to see how these fit. And I mean, black jeans are always a good staple to have. The next clothing item that I got it's by the brand Hippie Rose, and it's this sort of ribbed cream and off-white cropped sweater, and it has this cute little cuff detail, and this was $14.99, and I got it in a large, just so it's a little bit more loose-fitting. And I can definitely wear this with so many different items. I can dress it up and down with, you know, jeans or like a really cute necklace. And I'm really excited. It's 
a little bit thicker so hopefully it'll keep me nice and warm um but really excited again another great piece and the next item is another sweater and this is by the brand moon and madison and it is kind of like a v-neck boat neck neckline and it has kind of an open knit Let's see if i can show you hi phoebe you want to come say hi Come here. Come here. Okay. Come in. Hmm. Hi. Say hello. Okay. Just don't sit on my clothes. Please. Okay, so like I said, it's a little bit of a looser knit. Has a little bit of a cute open hole detail throughout and on the sleeves and it's almost like not chevron but just like a different pattern which caught my eye and i also love this color um it's showing up more tan on camera but it's like a really mauvey pink and i got this in a large and this was $14.99 definitely not going to be needing a lot of long sleeve tops after this video and so the last item I definitely needed and I'm super excited because one the price that I paid for it and two the brand is really good so I got this hot tools blow dryer I've been needing a blow dryer for forever uh, I usually dry my hair with a um, microfiber towel and I let it air dry but for times where I don't really want to sleep with damp hair or like at all I really shouldn't be sleeping with damp hair I've been needing a new blow dryer the one that I had was starting to smell when I was using it like burning smell so I got rid of it and this one I'm so excited comes with a diffuser for my curls I don't really use the concentrator or anything like that. I'm more so going to be using the diffuser. But this is the Turbo Ionic Tourmaline Salon Dryer. So, I mean, I'm definitely not a cosmetologist. My sister is. Um, and I remember when she was going through cosmetology school and needed hair tools, she always got hot tools. So once I saw this, I said, oh, that's familiar. It must be good. And I'm really excited. I know this sounds weird. Like you see those posts on Facebook all the time where it's like once you hit your 20s, you get more excited over like a new vacuum cleaner. Like I'm super excited to try this hair dryer out. Um, so we will definitely see if it makes a difference with my curls. And I paid... $24.99 for this and it says uh compared to $48 so still good price so that is it for my TJ Maxx haul I love TJ Maxx you can always find great items at great prices and I'm super excited to burn my candle try my hair dryer and try on my clothes it's like just it's such a good feeling when you're able to kind of treat yourself a little bit Okay, so now that you guys have seen everything that I bought at TJ Maxx, I told you guys that once my husband started making his beer for the first time with his beer kit that he got, that I'd bring you guys along. And he's clearly in his own element right now, trying to make it happen. Do you wanna kind of tell them what you're doing right now? Yeah, so um, so right now I have the fermenter. Uh, it's this glass thing. I think it's leaking. Um, so I dissolved a packet of sanitizer in here. So I'm sort of, sort of just like rinsing it around because um, everything that comes into contact with what will be your beer uh, will taint it in some way so you want to make sure everything's super super clean and 
In about five minutes or so, I'm going to be doing the first boil, uh, which then includes our first uh, pack of hops that we added. And this stuff you all got came in the kit, right? Yeah, everything came in the kit. And he has this big tub. This is where you're going to put the ice, right? Yeah, so once we're done boiling, uh, we have to cool everything down. Uh, so what we're going to do is put a bag of ice and then some water uh, to about, I'd say, maybe here uh, on the pot, like right about there. It's where the fluid is. And then it's going to cool for about a half hour. It looks exciting. Yeah, it's honestly, it's super, super easy. Um, so like if anyone is like looking to do beer brewing, like they say that if you can make macaroni and cheese on your own without anyone help. Um, basically you can brew beer. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, we're just waiting for this to come to a full boil and then we're going to add in, it looks like, the Golden Light DME, which is the dried malt extract. Let me see. This is kind of a cool, like a fine powder, and it's one pound, so it's malted barley and water is in here. Okay guys, so time has passed. Um, we've had our bagels and I've been enjoying my coffee. Um, I was filming an outro and then my battery was flashing so I let my battery charge a little bit and I just wanted to sign off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog with my TJ Maxx haul and then looking in on the beer making kit that my husband was doing yesterday night it's currently fermenting it has to sit for two weeks um no sunlight or anything like that so it's just sitting in a glass container kind of marinating away um and then once the two week mark is up i'll definitely update you guys in a video um probably do a taste test because we're both kind of excited to see how it came out. It was super cool to see what kind of goes into making it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button and please join my little family. I'd love to have you back. I have a lot of exciting things coming up for the following week. Um, as a hint, it involves my hair. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be really fun. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a fail. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications by clicking that bell icon. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.